good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, just to kind of echo what some of our project uh, program managers and VPs have mentioned earlier, welcome. Um, I got a chance to network with many of you before we got started this evening, and a common theme I heard was it was your first time. So I'm so excited to hear and see new faces here uh, beginning of the year 2015 and hopefully see you guys throughout uh, our forums coming up. So as Nancy mentioned, my name is James Brooks. I'm the program manager for the Healthcare Forum. Um, and the Healthcare Forum, just like the AEC Forum, is relatively new as well, believe it or not. Um, located in, here in Atlanta, which is the southeast healthcare hub of the United States, uh, we decided that it was very important and critical to create an environment where we could have uh, healthcare professionals from every background, whether it be a local provider, a vendor, um, a consultant, um, you know, you name it, to, to come and speak to our uh, project managers within uh, the healthcare space in Atlanta. We meet on the third Wednesday of every month, and our schedule is from February through November. We usually take December and January off due to all of the holiday hustle and bustle and allow uh, everybody to get settled back in. So we're located at Phillips Healthcare, which is right down the street from here, actually, um, and it's at 13560 Morris Road. So located on the first floor there. We have snacks and refreshments as well. And then um, six to eight is our meeting time, and then down below is the typical agenda of what we follow. So again, a big important piece is networking. Um, and then followed by a presentation, which is usually interactive. So there's a Q&A session. You know, usually I, I ask the speaker to build that in because I know, you know, as I'm listening to, um, you know, a speaker for an hour, I want to ask questions and I want to create an environment that's conducive to that. So it's there for you guys and we try to make sure that we cater and we shape our form to reflect that, okay? All right, so the objective of our forum is to create an environment for healthcare professionals in Atlanta to gather and discuss uh, the latest topics affecting healthcare on a local and national scale. Um, healthcare in general needs no introduction. I think it's something that affects all of us. Obviously, we're um, in a time now where the healthcare industry is being heavily scrutinized um, one way or another, and there are a lot of uh, people and companies and organizations wanting to get their hands in the pot and, and contribute to um, one of the hottest trends going on right now. So it's really cool to come out and see uh, just what's going on, not only around Atlanta, but nationally um, as well. Um, uh -oh. Okay, um, we also want to help PM or PM Aspire. So um, one of the kind of focuses, or one of the focal points that we've had over the past year was not only serving our PM professionals um, in helping in continuing education, but also helping individuals who want to create a path towards project management in the healthcare space. Um, last year, we had several of our members become certified throughout the course of the year, and I can't tell you how incredibly inspiring it was to me to watch them grow, and, and then, you know, hopefully this year they'll come back and contribute and, uh, and work with us as well. So we really want to focus on our, not only our PM professionals, but also folks that are out there um, that look to aspire to become a PM in the healthcare, for, or the healthcare field as well. Um, we share success stories, real life case studies, personal experience to provide a, a truly personal perspective. And I think this is one of the best things about the healthcare forum. Um, we do have a dedicated topic, but just, you know, last year we had um, a speaker come in and deliver a powerful presentation and, and one of our audience members had the opportunity to ask a question about something that she was going through um, as a project manager at her company and got real life feedback, instant feedback from that, from that expert and, and it was eye opening for all of us I think that attended that we were able to see that. So um, it's exciting to, to see those uh, challenges being met head on. And then uh, also to grow successful leaders within the healthcare industry. So, all right, so who should attend? Again, uh, project managers to hear more information about the latest trends, IT professionals from um, who want to stay up to date in the healthcare industry, um, people who want to network within the industry as well, and then um, anyone looking to break into the healthcare industry. Uh, Marcia mentioned that, um, you know, 
you may be looking for a career change or you may be looking to, to get into an, another area. And I think it's very important um, to, to come out and network, especially with the professionals that uh, can put you in the contact with the right people. Okay, so then just a couple of slides here for some of our past presentations from last year. Um, a lot of good ones, a lot of diversity you'll see spread throughout here. Uh, the first one, lessons learned and promising practices for project management. Um, Dr. Prachi Mehta from the CDC came and, and gave a really incredible um, presentation regarding uh, some of their best practices and lessons learned from an award-winning project recognized by PM globally. So um, it's just a phenomenal presentation there. Um, exploring different dynamics of project management. This was a, a, a neat one because oftentimes as project managers we wear different hats, not only as a taskmaster, a schedule master, but also as a coach, a mentor, a listener. So um, Caressa did an incredible job uh, exploring the different dynamics that we all have to wear. Um, leading and facilitating inclusion with a remote team. So many of us are are now uh, a part of a remote project management team, so that's a, that's been a hot topic. Uh, we did a, we dipped a little bit into Scrum, um, but overcoming the challenges of uplifting legacy code, and then also um, Andreas's uh, presentation: Should I certify the benefits of the journey? Um, achieving spectacular results by ensuring clarity of mission and vision, uh, performed by one of the senior directors from Philips Healthcare. Um, a case study in, in healthcare project management, so um, we took a look at real life examples and, and case studies there. Lessons learned and promising practices uh, of directing MedShare International, and that was actually delivered by Charles Redding, who is the CEO of that nonprofit. So it was a really a myriad of uh, events last year, and we had, a, we had a really good time and explored a lot of different topics there. So I can't leave you without giving a plug for my forum coming up which is February 18th, again at Phillips Healthcare, and we have uh, a senior consultant from RGP Consulting that's coming and will actually discuss giving real life uh, or real life analysis of case studies where healthcare practices were successful in using risk management. So it's gonna be a really great way to kick off our year this year. We're really excited about the curriculum and uh, we hope to see many of you there as well. Thank you.